When our clients first called us, what they wanted was a new house within their old house. They wanted to open everything up, make it a lot brighter, cleaner, and more fresh. The house originally was very dark. There were a lot of smaller rooms, felt a little more disjointed. So we really wanted to try to make everything a little more cohesive by opening up the floor plan. The clients love the area. Their kids grew up here. They go to school a couple blocks away and they have a dog and a cat. So having the yard space was great and their friends in the neighborhood, so they didn't want to leave. Our client had done her research. She knew what she wanted. She knew what didn't work for her. And she had a very good visual direction of how she wanted the house to feel. So it was really our job to try to make her dream home happen. When you walk into the house, we have added some applied moldings. It's this little extra subtle texture that you're adding to a wall, even though it's all painted white. We have installed a large format porcelain tile in the front, so it's very durable, especially with three kids and two pets. Originally, it was a closed staircase. So now when you walk in, we have a beautiful open staircase where the light can transfer through. You can visually see the back of the house through the staircase. The original house had a lot of existing bulkheads that we could not remove. So what we did to make it a little more tailored was we removed all the crown molding and we've just designed subtle step details, still giving you that visual interest and making everything feel a little more cohesive so you're not noticing these different ceiling heights. Honestly, I love this kitchen. We completely transformed it. We have opened it up, got rid of her existing breakfast table. She felt like it was always in the way and in the middle of the space. And, and the island now has two zones. We have our built-in eating area rather than a separate table. And she has a secondary sink also for when she's cooking and prepping. We've done a lot of special inserts for her. We have a spice drawer. We have an appliance garage. And we also have a hidden magic corner in that awkward corner that's always hard to get to, which is a nice little extra feature to have. We wanted to keep the kitchen very bright. So most of the kitchen cabinets are a lacquered white color with a very thin contemporary shaker profile. And we've reintroduced the white oak in a rift cut form on some of the other cabinets. It really ties in with the white oak flooring. So we really tried to make the stone the feature in this kitchen. So we have done a beautiful marble stone archway around the main kitchen wall and we've added very subtle ambient lighting on the back of the floating shelves that illuminates the stone, just making it a little bit more special. Again, because this client cooks a lot, we wanted to make sure that all the surfaces she's working on is very durable. So we did a man-made quartz on all of the working surfaces, again, for maintenance for her. We have given her a lot of counter space for working. She likes to cook a lot and bake. The marble that we've used in this kitchen, it is a natural marble. So it is inherently porous and it can etch and stain. So for this client, what we've done on the eating area, we have applied a tough skin on top of this marble just to protect it from that daily spill or anything that may happen to this counter. Across from the kitchen, we have the family room. Now the family room had a fireplace that was off center and then the TV was off to the side. It didn't work at all for the clients. So we've now centered the fireplace and we've changed it to a more modern linear fireplace, which allows us to put the TV above at a more appropriate viewing height. We've also maximized some storage in there. We've done some beautiful textured linen cabinetry with some custom artwork up above. In the family room, we actually did all custom furniture for this client. We kept all of the bigger pieces very neutral and light. We have a beautiful texture on the sofas and we've done two velvet swivel chairs off in front of the window. We have an oversized ottoman, which is perfect for putting your feet up, but also doubling as a coffee table. And then we've added some tosses just for a little extra color depth and interest. Leading into the family room, what we've done is we have incorporated a coffee and bar station for the clients, which was the perfect spot to be able to use from all the different zones. It's close to the kitchen, it's close when you're in the family room, and it also is quick access when you're entertaining outside too, to come in, go to the beverage fridge, grab a drink, and take it back outside. 
One of the biggest things the client wanted in this renovation was opening up the floor plan, both physically speaking, but also visually. So what we did in the middle of the house is a glass display cabinet. So you can easily grab a glass when you're in the family room side or when you're in the dining room. We went for a round table in the dining room for several reasons. Because we've gotten rid of the formal dining room essentially by opening the floor plan up, we thought a round table would be more inviting. We liked the fact that a round table is more conversational for everybody who sits there. And also it just makes an easier flow throughout the spaces. Next to the dining room, we have the formal living room, which is closer to the front of the house. Because it is a little more formal, it's a little more luxe. We have a beautiful velvet sofa that has a lovely texture in the front. And we've reintroduced marble as well and the coffee table in there and some other richer tones in the pillows. Millwork is a big part of every home that we design. And because this house, again, was opened up, we wanted to make sure every room still felt a little different. So you'll see in the dining room area, flanking the bench, we've done a larger scale fluting texture on the doors. And we've also reintroduced a different scale of a ribbing on the bar area. And we've kept that theme coming through some of the custom doors we did in the kitchen. The original mud room wasn't very functional for our clients. It wasn't very wide, so they were only able to have one wall of storage. For three kids and two pets, that's just not enough. So what we did was we took space away from the family room, which people normally would say that's a big no-no, but because of the flow of the house, it just made the most sense. It made every room more functional. So now the mud room, we were able to double the storage they had before and we've now incorporated a dog shower as well into the mud room. Originally the powder room the door was right off the family room there's no privacy at all. We now have it entering into the mud room which gives a lot more privacy and it allowed us to reclaim some of that floor space which we've now converted into the coffee and bar station. They didn't want to move and when you have a good floor plan and a good vision, I think you can make almost any house work for you. I love this house. It feels so warm and it's so welcoming and now it's so bright. Even just coming here knowing that they are enjoying the space, they're using the space, they're hosting family and friends. That's really nice to see that they have the space now where they can do that.